But what is your sense of this race for your candidate, Nikki Haley? You know, some say she hit a speed bump when she was visiting your state to say that, you know, New Hampshire fixes whatever Iowa does. Uh, you know, she said it was, you know, said in good fun and good humor. Um, you said pretty much the same when last we sure. chatted. But you think it hurt her? Well, no. Look, look at the polls. They've, they've just skyrocketed for her in both Iowa and New Hampshire since then. Um, and it, it's, it's because she's doing the work, right? She's, she's on the ground. She's in the diner. She's doing the town hall. She's answering anybody's questions. Trump's not doing that. You're lucky to get him to fly in once a week to do a rally and then get the heck out of there. So she's really doing the work. She's earning it. Um, she hasn't set any expectations for Iowa, but she's still doing incredibly well there. So I still think here in New Hampshire, she's got a real shot to, to do what no one thought was possible, which is beat Donald Trump. Trump in both states, it's all about getting the vote out, right? If you're sitting on the couch watching this, if you're a Republican that's, you know, frustrated with Donald Trump, get, go out and caucus for Nikki Haley. If you're one of these people that say that Trump is the end of democracy, well, then participate in the democratic process and go Go uh, caucus for Nikki Haley. Make it make it something that you can that you can affect the change on. And in Iowa, almost anybody can do it. In New Hampshire, it's Republicans and undeclared. So I think you're going to see a very high turnout on both in Iowa and New Hampshire uh, for both the caucus and the primary.